This is Professor Derf Seitz. This tutorial shows a beginning Java development configuration. I've already downloaded and installed the Java development kit. I installed the 32-bit version. In the folder on Windows, Program Files x86, we go in there, there's a Java directory in there, and there's the JDK Java Development Kit um, version 7 update 45. When you install it, it will be a more recent version. And there's the Java runtime environment that was installed separately. But for purposes of development, you need the Java Development Kit. Inside the Java Development Kit, it has its own Java runtime environment that goes with it. In its bin directory, where the executables are, we see the Java compiler there, Java C, and the Java runtime Java. If we go down here and look into the control panel, go to Programs and Features to see what's installed. Down here you'll see Java Standard Edition Development Kit Version 7 Update 45 and then here's the Java Runtime next to it. Going back to the Control Panel Home screen there is a Java icon in here. You really don't have to use that very often. But if you go in there, <clears throat> you can look and view and see that 1.745 is, is the one that it knows about. We're not going to worry about that. However, as part of the configuration, we're going to go into the system settings, the advanced system settings, and in particular, the environment variables. There's three environment variables that are part of this configuration. First of all, there's Java Home. If we edit this to look at it, it is the path, the full path, to the JDK folder. It's called Java Home. The reason for setting up a Java Home is when you change uh, Java versions, go to a more recent JDK, you only need to come here and ch change this Java Home environment variable, as you'll see, and it makes it simpler. So we'll cancel that. You also have to go into the path environment variable path is very long, it has many things in it. If I go to the home, it starts right arrowing through, it just goes and goes and goes. But at the end of it, <coughs> the very end of path, each entry in path is separated by a semicolon. I have percent Java underscore home percent. That means the percent signs mean to copy in that Java Home environment variable. So we're getting the path there to the JDK folder and then backslash bin, that's the bin directory. So when Windows is looking for a program to run, it goes to the path environment variable and, and looks at all the different things in here and it will look in the bin directory and that's where we'll need it to look for the Java compiler and the Java uh, runtime. This particular path also has at the end of it, which you won't normally need, another um, Java 3D bin. Uh, I was doing development in Java 3D. You would not have that on your machine. Yours would end with the Java Home bin. That's the path. Also, there's class path. Class path. 
we go to the front of it, again the entries are separated by semicolons. The very first entry, it's hard to see there, is just a period. The period means to look, tells Java to look in the current folder first for files. To look for classes that it needs to use. And that's typically a very common setting. And you wouldn't have this other stuff, but there's some Java 3D um, places where there were some library jar files that were used for it, but yours would normally just be a, a period for class path. It should be all uppercase like that. So once those environment variables are set up, <clears throat> you're ready to roll. Let's go to the command prompt, and if we just type in Java here, it will give us all the parameters that we could use with Java. One of them is version. So if we come down here and type Java and then you have to put a hyphen version. It tells us uh, that update 45 is our, our version there and the runtime environment so it's a good uh, last check to make sure that you have your Java out there installed correctly. So this kind of gives you a, an overview of some places to look to double check your Java configuration.